So let's talk about testing in your emails here in Pardot. Let's switch over to the testing tab here in our draft. So there's a couple testing options. You have the ability to send a test list that allows you to test both your variables and dynamic content, which you need to do if you are using those different features of Pardot. The next one is send to individual emails. So you can actually send test emails to anybody in this planet. So you can put down your own email address, your colleague's email address, whatever the case is. And that one gives you the option to test both the HTML and text version. Finally, our biggest, coolest test that we have within Pardot email drafts is the ability to do a render test. And the render tests are powered by Litmus behind the scene. So simply we'll start our render. And as you can see, I already have one going, but we'll go ahead and click on a completed one so you can see what that looks like. So once it renders, take a look at this. How awesome is this? We get to see how the email renders across our different email clients, all the way from Outlook to plain text to Thunderbird on Windows, on Mac. You also have the ability on the web email clients to take a look at how it renders across Gmail, AOL, Outlook.com, all those more popular web email clients. Of course, we got our Android in there. And finally, mobile email clients. We have the ability to render test against our iPads against our iPad minis, the different variations of iPhones. Look how beautiful that renders. Stacks nice, right? This is what we call responsive design. All right, so get back to my overview here. So you can click on each of those test results and take a look at how it renders. So you can go back and make any modification to your responsive design. Also available for you is the subject line preview. So what does this look like when it actually ends up in the inbox or when it I look at it on my phone. So you can take a look at what that subject line looks like. And keep in mind that will help you to kind of think about shortening your subject line sometimes. As you can see, it does get truncated. And finally, we have this built-in spam analysis. So it's checking against the very common spam tools like Barracuda or Sender ID or Spam Assassin. And it looks like this email passed it just fine. So it's definitely going to check your text to make sure it's not spam heavy or causes any red flags within the spam analysis. And that is our email testing options within Pardot. And hopefully you'll take advantage of all of them.